Hey YouTube, welcome to Vlogmas. It is such a gloomy rainy day today. We wanted to go, uh, there's like a place like an hour or so away from here. The zoo that does a walkthrough Christmas lights show, not show, but you know how you have like the Christmas lights that you usually can drive through. There's one that you can walk through, which is much more fun. It's like the one with the cars. You're just literally inching through the whole entire thing and it's just so slow. It's not as fun for, it's fun, but it's not as fun in my opinion. We've never done a walk through one, but it just seems more fun. So if it's not raining, cause today's actually a pretty warm day. If it's not raining by the evening, maybe we'll go. I'm gonna apply my eye patches on right now. And I try to do this every morning for, I think I have like two left. It was like a set 12 days of masking from Erno Laszlo and I mentioned this several times and I really, really like these. I've said that before as well, but I actually do. I think they're really nice. They have like this mesh material inside. Let me actually show a close up. They are expensive, but they are packed with great skin benefits. So instead of using an eye cream, I mean you can still use an eye cream and don't take my advice, but I am pretty lazy when it comes to eye creams, I'm not gonna lie, but masks, I love. And it has like this meshy type material. I don't know if it's showing up. It just looks really cool, almost like a honeycomb. Um, and it feels really cooling when you first apply it. It has great, great skin benefits. So I probably would repurchase these. I think they're really nice. And I just love doing this every single morning. I am blonde now. It's like a lived in blonde because my hair was a, like a medium brown. So going from that to blonde it takes a few hair appointments to get to be like really bright blonde. But for now, this is, this is from like one hair session that I, if you want, if you didn't watch that vlog, watch that vlog from yesterday. I absolutely love how it came out. But I figured in today's video, I would show how I've recently been doing my lashes. I believe it or not, actually have not really cared for lashes lately. And I think a big reason for that is the glue application. This is not the wrong or right way. It's basically personal preference. That's what it boils down to. Favorite lashes boils down to personal preference, favorite glue, all of that. Same with application. I have been personally loving applying my lashes this way. It does not last as long because I'm only going to be applying glue to the lash segments versus in the past what I would do. These still are my favorite types of glues, the ones with like the mascara wand. I don't know why, I just really like them. But before what I would do is take this mascara wand, little spoolie, and dab some glue across my lashes. And that should give you pretty good hold, especially if you double bond. And double bonding means applying glue to your natural lashes and then taking the glue and applying it to the base of the lash segment, just the base on top. So that when you plop it on, you have glue on your lashes and on the base of the lash segment and it's like double secure. So it's pretty sturdy. But I've noticed when I do that, it's all over my natural lashes and I feel like it doesn't allow my natural lashes to live their best life. Like I already have a very fine, thin lashes, yay. I've never really had a point where I was missing lashes unless you like rip them out. Um, and you're trying to like, you know, ever, you ever try to take off mascara yourself and you're trying to get like this clump of mascara off and you accidentally take off some of your own lashes. This is kind of like trying to take off mascara. You need to use an oil-based remover to take this off. It's not difficult, very user-friendly. Just don't try to take it off just like that. You do need an oil-based remover. And uh, what was I saying? I feel like that reels on Instagram where it was like, um, ooh, a squirrel. Oh, I was saying that I haven't noticed that my lashes have been damaged by any means. Like I wasn't missing gaps of lashes other than one time when I like pulled them off because I didn't have any remover. But I just feel like it's not the best situation for my fine thin lashes. So what I have been doing lately is just taking the glue. I'll show you guys in a minute using these from Dark Swan of Denmark. I've mentioned them in the past. They have a few cluster lash styles that you can apply underneath your natural lashes and they are gorgeous. They have the cappuccino lash, which is a chocolatey brown lash, like a light chocolatey brown lash. 
very very light if you're looking for a very light lash that it, they have the perfect cappuccino lash for you and then they have two styles i think there's classic 01 and classic 02 they're called their secret lashes and then they came out with these little guys here which are already pre-mapped in a cat eye lash map as you can see here it's a cat eye lash map making it super easy if you've never done lashes before and these lashes in particular in the classic 01 mix not only are they gorgeous they are very great for beginners in my opinion so if you've never applied lashes or if you want a very natural look I always recommend these. The Classic 01 from Dark Swan of Denmark are such a gorgeous natural lash. It basically looks like you just applied a wonderful, beautiful coat of mascara. I mean, mascara can't even do this. They're just that nice. And this takes the thing right out of it because they're already pre-mapped into a cat eye shape. So you just apply them as you go. It will tell you which one goes on which. Like this one says right, this one says left. So this one's gonna go outer corner to inner corner, outer corner to inner corner, or if you wanna go inner to outer, whatever. So I'm gonna use these in today's video. If this is your first time ever applying lashes, it does come with like a little mini tube like this. And what you can do is just take this, it's like a plastic stick, and brush it along the base of these lash clusters here, just the base, because the base is what's gonna to be touching your natural lashes. Make sure not to apply it on the underside, because then you're gonna just have sticky glue all over there, and that's not what is sticking to your natural lashes. Hopefully that makes sense. I mean, it sounds pretty simple, but if you've never done lashes, you know, you wanna know everything. If you've never like done DIY lashes or like the underside method. So if this is your first time, they, I did wanna mention that they do include like a little tube of glue so that you don't have to worry about having glue. And then as for lash applicator, Honestly, you don't need an expensive lash applicator. You can find something like this on Amazon for like under $10. You can hear my kids playing in the background, don't mind. Thank God this is like a vlogmas type video. But as I was saying, you really do not need an expensive lash applicator. I like something that has shorter prongs and that are a little bit thinner because that way um, not only can I grab on to the lash segments, but then when I go to clamp them together, I prefer a shorter prong. prong, prong. Personal preference, again, personal preference. Here is a close-up of the Classic 01 Secret Lashes here. They are a gorgeous lash style. I'm gonna be starting off with the right eye, so I'm gonna start off with this one, and then work my way to the inner corner, and then do the same thing with the left eye. Start off with this one, work my way to the inner corner. And when you do grab them off of the tray, you wanna make sure that your applicator is as close to the base as possible. If you grab it from here, you're gonna end up ripping some of the lash fibers out, so just be mindful of that or you can just totally use your fingers. Honestly, a lot of times that's what I'll do. I'll just pick it up and pluck it off with my fingers like so. This one does have glue holding it down to the last tray, so I don't love that. Honestly, I wish it was double-sided tape, but that's, it is what it is. Just take that extra glue off because then it can just end up being sticky underneath. But look at how lightweight these lash segments are. This band is basically invisible. It is so thin, and this is the reason why I recommend this lash if you are a beginner because the band is so thin, it's basically invisible. Like, it's so undetectable. And as for application, this is what I started doing. I'll take my, I'm gonna be using the Salamine glue. This one is off of Amazon, I think it was like eight bucks. It does take a little bit to get tacky. I would give it like 15, 20 seconds or so, but I open the tube and then I will take my um, lash and on the top of the lash, so here's the curl, you wanna apply glue to the tops because that's what's going to be touching your natural lashes. I just take the lash and kind of swipe it across the tube to get some glue on there. I accidentally got a little bit too much. You can wipe some off if you want. Just take your finger and like wipe some off. But you don't wanna apply like a clump of glue. Honestly, a little bit is more than enough. And then when you're applying it to your natural lash, you don't want it too close where it's literally touching your waterline and poking your eye and you don't want it too far away so that when you look down you can see a gap between where the lash segment starts sometimes it takes a few sweat a few times because this glue does take some time to get tacky but once it gets tacky it just easily grips right on <laughs> final 
outcome. They are just such a gorgeous natural lash. I do have a bit of a very soft wing on the outer corner using eyeshadow, like an eyeshadow wing. The reason why I like applying glue just to the lash band is because when it's time to take them off, I don't have glue all over my natural lashes. I barely have any glue on my natural lashes. Most of it is on the actual lash, se lash segment and a little bit adheres to the natural lashes. So I feel like with this method, just applying glue to these right here, it works so much better and I feel, like it's, I feel like it's healthier for the lashes in my opinion. And you don't have to worry about your lashes clumping together with the glue getting all over your natural lashes. For me personally, I just have come to love applying my lashes this way. So I thought I would share. My lashes have always been thinner, so I haven't, it's not like my lashes changed much. I just prefer this method because I hated dealing with all of that clumpiness and just glue all over my natural lashes and if I wanted to take a lash off and reapply it there was just like all this glue all over my lashes and I was not loving it so for me this has become my go-to method recently so try it out let me know what you guys think I also got in the mail the other day these are super fun hair tinsel tape-ins I've never heard of hair tinsel let me know if you have I think it is the coolest thing ever and I'm going to give it a try. So I found this, I was on Amazon and I was looking through different kinds of hair tinsel and usually what they'll do is they'll take one loop, one hair, a piece of hair tinsel and they'll create like a U-shaped loop and then you loop it around your own hair and do like a loop-de-loop -loop situation, literally like three, four strands of your own hair. But because my hair is so fine and thin that a lot of the reviews said if your hair is too fine then it can like slip right out. Whereas for most people, if you have coarse hair, it can last like months or like a month or so. So I started looking into tape and tinsel. I'm like, that has to be a thing, right? Tape and tinsel? Lo and behold, it is. This one company called Your Hair Shop or FunHairShop.com. And you can buy it on Amazon as well. I will link this down below. You can choose, I think the length, you can choose the color. So many different colors to choose from. And I chose the option where I got extra tape so that when I take off the old tape, I can reuse these this tinsel and apply some new tape on here. And then they also sent me um, like a sample of this fun, colorful, this one looks super cool, like super cool, but it looks super intense. Like you would think like, okay, that looks kind of weird, but you can cut the tape if you wanted to. You can cut it into like a little segments, wrap it around your hair. So here's the hair tinsel out of the package. It looks so fun. It's basically tinsel for your hair. You're supposed to be able to use it uh, curl it, wash it, whatever. The tape-ins are like traditional tape-ins. I'm not new to tape-ins. I actually did my own if you want to watch that video. And it's fairly easy. You can cut this strip if you wanted to, like I said. So if you don't want it so wide or you don't want so many in one section, you can like cut it. And she does have an entire instruction pamphlet here on how to apply them properly how to remove them and to remove them same like traditional tape ends you can use rubbing alcohol which basically loosens this makes the tape not sticky at all so then you just like pull them off just be careful or you can use like special tape and remover rubbing alcohol honestly isopropyl alcohol works just fine and you can cut it i don't know it just looks so fun and i thought i would give this a try so let me just section off i don't want it to be too close and visible to my scalp but then you also i also don't want it to start from here you know what i'm saying so this is the sticky side and it is like clear tape and we are just going to plop it, plop it down. Just make sure no hair is in the way, like no baby hairs because then it's going to be annoying if you have to brush it through. And I don't think you need a backing for these. With traditional tapins, you need a backing, but it's not sticky at all. Haha, <laughs> this looks so fun. Look at this, that looks so cool. I do have to trim it, obviously. I have my scissors here, and I'm going to cut it the same length as my hair. I ended up taking out this one that was a little bit too high and I think I placed it too close to the root. You don't want to pla place any tape ins ever too close to the root. And it's super easy to remove. I used isopropyl alcohol. I think I'm going to do the same thing with this one here because I can kind of see it through the layer of my hair and I don't like that. And I ended up cutting it in half. So I put a little tiny piece here. Where is it? Somewhere here. Like a little tiny strip here. Just for a little effect. And then a little one. The other half I put right here. 
and it adds just like a fun shimmery effect it's like just enough where people are like ooh what is that you know so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one out and what I did is you, I just flipped it the other way you can use like a squirting bottle whatever I just don't want to um, get my hair all covered in alcohol so I just literally dab some on my finger and I'll rub it across the tape to kind of help loosen that glue and it was really easy to remove I'm not sure if it's because they're fresh but most tapes are pretty easy to remove or you can use a special tape and remover and then go in from the top and it should start to come off you see how like it's just literally coming right off and if any areas are still holding on to your natural hair take some more remover do the same thing and then this one I'm going to cut in half as well and kind of do the same thing. Just put one here somewhere and then one here to place these farther down because I kind of want them to be able to flip. And I feel like it's it's better using these in sections if you have fine thin hair like I do at least. I think this is so fun. I always like trying fun new things. I will link this company down below in their Amazon shop if you want to buy it through Amazon or you can buy it directly from their website. It's not prime because it's kind of like a customizable option. It took... It didn't take long to come in at all, probably like a week I want to say. It is in such a dark and gloomy day, so the lighting is going downhill really quick, especially as the sun is setting, but I curled the hair, these loose curls, and my hair does not hold a curl, so it ends up kind of looking like this, but I wanted to show you what it would look like with uh, curling it. Some of them didn't curl very well, and they're kind of straight, but it honestly just blends in quite well, even if it is a little bit of straight. But I think they're so fun, especially for the holidays, or even just like that. I do recommend cutting them in half. I feel like you're able to place them wherever you want, especially if you have finer, thinner hair. Definitely cut them in half, or you can cut them even into thirds, and kind of like place them throughout. It is a little bit annoying putting your hair up or brushing it, so be very careful, I will say. You don't want to kind of brush it and snag it and then damage your own hair so just be careful but otherwise super fun i will link them down below but i think i'm gonna end this vlog here so i'll see you guys in the next vlog list Bye.